so how does it feel it's um, it's an addiction and uh, one that uh, you know I, I aim to stop at some point maybe not today perhaps tomorrow No, I do not smoke. Uh, and why? I don't know. I just never started. We like a healthy way to, to live. So I think that's the reason. I don't like the, the smell. I um, want to take care of my body. So no, it's, it has never been an interest for me. You can't smoke in the street, you can't smoke there, you can't smoke here. Sometimes I feel a little sorry for the smokers because it's forbidden almost all over. Snus is a smokeless tobacco product made of tobacco, salt and water and some flavors to it. It was really commercialized around 1820 in Sweden, uh, became very popular uh, during around year 1900, uh, dropped because of the cigarettes uh, were introduced, but then came back in the 70s and, and uh, still is here. It's part of the Swedish culture. It's like the Swedish equivalent of Italian Parmaham or uh, any other cultural uh, habit. Um, we put the little piece of tobacco either as a loose or in a pouch, which is far more common, like a small tea bag, and we put it under the upper lip and we uh, that's how we use it. But I think the policymakers should encourage the industry and give the industry in, uh, incitaments or uh, 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 encourage the industry to develop harm, harmless alternatives or uh, less harmful alternatives to cigarette smoking. Um, and there should be a range of product that is, is, is uh, not involving uh, the combustion process. Uh, and I, I mean, 1.2 billion smokers are still out there in the world. Uh, some 100 million people smoke daily in the EU. Um, and I think we can go so far with policy making regulation. And I think hand in hand, you will also need to give the smokers other less harmful alternatives. We, we have the laws and the policies, we are sending signals to the smokers that it, this is not accepted by society. All these policies also uh, stigmatize smoking and smokers. Uh, you are not allowed to smoke inside or even at outdoor terraces, on restaurants and pubs, no public places like platforms and so on. Uh, but they are allowed to smoke in, for example, a painted square in a backyard, making smokers and, and, and smoking. They are standing outside the, the healthy community um, and no one ever see, sees a smoker, actually. Um, so that's one thing. And... On the other hand, it's, of course, the widespread use of snus. Since you put it under your lip, it will affect your teeth and your gum. However, 
uh, it's harm reduction. So, I mean, there are like two groups, I should say discussing, but it's not really a discussion going on. On the one hand, it's uh, we have to have not only a smoke-free, but a tobacco-free and nicotine-free society. And on the other hand, it's the harm reduction paradigm based on knowledge that smoking is bad for you um, and people will continue to use nicotine in different forms. So, in order to keep people away from smoking, which is associated, we know that, with an increase in mortality, increase in tobacco-related health, and offer them an alternative that is less harmful.